They made it uh, into small pieces. Hmm, smells so good. Cut into small pieces. Just keep cutting it. See, good dog. Aw, your mom loves you. She didn't used to love you. When we first gave you Snoopy, you went, oh no. Oh no. Another dog to take care. Another dog to clean up the pool. You know, you have this extra, you can make fried rice with it. There. Now I need to uh, add another um, more, another uh, two teaspoons of oil again because it's too dry. Two teaspoons of olive oil, or vegetable oil. And I need to add one full teaspoon of uh, salt, about two teaspoons of sugar, more pepper. Like the sprinkle, like a half teaspoon. Like a half teaspoon. And I put... Get it with that butcher knife. I need an another te tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. And I mix it all together. And now I chop onion. You would need like the full of this onion. About, uh, about half a cup. And you chop it, it up into small pieces. We did a lot of onion. Oh yeah, I love scallions and white onions. It's a green onion. You can eat a scallion or green onion. And put into the into the bowl and mix mix well together. You can also use it with pork, but I like to use it with chicken. Sometimes it tastes a little. Okay, it tastes good. Does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. So you only you know how to salt or pepper. If you like, you can put more pepper in there or, or more salt. But this, that's right. And now I set this aside right here. You need the wax paper. You cut the wax paper into like a square, like about two inches square piece. I bought this kind of cut wax paper. This is to put in the bottom of the steam bun. You tear it up about two inches each side into square and then you you fold it and cut it into four pieces. What is scissors like this? Sometimes I cut and look at it so it's even square. You need about 28 pieces a day or 30. It doesn't matter. You can save it some leftover. You can save it for the next time. Okay, now I put over here away for later. I need it. Cut in bowl. If you don't have one, you can use a piece of pan. If you don't have this uh, cutting board, you just uh, put the paper or lemon foil over your table and you can knead the dough. Now the, 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 the flour that I said save for, for, for before, 
two, three tablespoons and I just sprinkle around the cutting board so I can knead the dough so it doesn't stick to the board. Yeah, I'm kneading at the door again. There, the door is ready. I, I put the little bit of the flowers around it so it make it easy to knead the door. And I divide in a half. Put back one there when I need it. Again, make it longer. Keep knee and knee and knee and until it all smooth. Put one side and do the, put more flour and do the other one. Do the same thing over and over again. Okay, now I divide into 14 pieces. I cut into 14 pieces and divide it. One, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now take thirteen pieces. Leave this right in there for now until I finish this one. It's called to roll the stick and to put it on it. Red chicken. They do have one that is rolling. <laughs> What I do, I go like this, put a little flour and, and roll like this, roll like that, this. and then I put, I put the tablespoon of, more than a tablespoon of meat in here. And then one a, one four of the egg, a quarter, and I keep closing it. Make one, keep pulling it, pulling the edges of the dough, and it squeeze together so it's not it's not open when you cook and you steam it like that. Make it round and put a piece of. Uh, wet paper and put under the steam bun so that way when you steam it they stick to the pan. Spray all the wet paper over here. Make it easier for the so you you make it faster. Everything prepared. So you keep doing the same thing over and over until you all feel this. You roll and roll like that. One, probably two tablespoons. It depends on how much you want to put in. And then now a quarter of the edge. Keep pull the other side until it all close. Like that. Make sure it's all covered. Now I'm doing it over again. Make it flat. See how it round. We don't want it too thick. So that is a spoon of meat, the egg. Keep squeeze to all together. And you make it around. And that's it. It takes a long time to, uh, to make, but uh, when you eat, it's very fast. <laughs> it's kind of boring when you're doing this, but if somebody sees next to 